Happy firsties! I can't believe it's the end of the week. Woohoo! It is a 40 weekend for you. It's not a 40 weekend for me. I'd rather be with you in meetings instead of adult meetings. Our Zoom meetings are way more fun, I tell ya. Anyway, you have the you have tomorrow off and you have Monday off, so enjoy it. I know the weather's going to be great. That's why I thought I'd move the calendar outside, right? We never got to do calendar outside in school, so I was like, we need to do it outside today. All right, so it's a brand new month starting tomorrow. What is it? It is May. This is a super easy one to spell because it's three letters, right? Um, just remember when you are writing months, they always have an uppercase letter, okay? So a lot of friends, they can spell May, but they might make the simple mistake by not capitalizing the first letter. So always make sure you have an uppercase letter. So in this this month, it's an uppercase M. So M-A-Y spells May. All right, I love May because it's when the when the trees start turning green, the grass starts turning green, we start to grow flowers. Some of you are already growing plants at home. You've shown me. Um, so I just, I just love it. And so let's talk about some of the fun things we're going to be doing in May or seeing in May. So tomorrow, like I said, we have no school on Monday or Friday. You get to enjoy that longer weekend. Um, next week, we have a normal four-day week. Then we have a five-day week of school, a five-day week. And then we have only three days of school this week, which this is your last day of being a first grader. And then you are officially a second grader. So after May, no more first grade. You are a second grader. But don't worry, you'll get to see me. But you won't be in first grade, which means that you've gotten bigger, you've gotten smarter, and a whole lot kinder. I know you have. All right, we are going to be um, looking at the holidays. One of the big holidays, if you've ever heard of, is May Day. A friend in our Zoom meeting today talked about making a flower basket. And some people deliver them to neighbors or friends or family. And then they deliver it to their house, and it's called May Day. It might look a little different in your house this year because of the virus, but it's good that you know what it is. It's called May Day on the first, the first of the, the month of May. All right, the next big holiday is on the 10th. It's on a Sunday. It's the it's a really great holiday to celebrate all the mothers in our world. It's called Mother's Day. And so we're going to be doing a fun activity next week that talks about our mom or a special woman in our life that we are going to celebrate and talk about. Um, so be really nice to your mom this next couple of weeks. You should always be nice to your mom, of course, but it's we're celebrating her soon this month. All right, the next big holiday is a day we actually don't have school, and that's why I brought that no school. I had it up here, and I brought it down here because a lot of us might forget, but we have a holiday called Memorial Day, and so that's a three-day weekend, and we are remembering all of the people that fought in our military, um, and so it's a very special holiday, and that means we don't celebrate. We don't go to school that day because we're celebrating the holiday, which means we really only have a three-day week until um, it's the last week of school and you're officially a second grader that day. So we really don't have that many days of school, and I'm thinking we should probably have a countdown right now. Are you ready? So we don't have school tomorrow. We don't have school on the fourth. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Four day week. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 days. I can't believe it. I I have like really mixed feelings about it. Like I'm so proud of you guys, but I feel just so sad because even if we can't go back to the building, I've enjoyed being able to see you and learn with you online. And to say there's only 17 more days makes just, like I said, bittersweet. I feel so, so excited for you, but also very sad. Um, but I think you're going to be ready for second grade. You are so smart and so amazing your second grade teacher is so lucky I just I'm so excited for them to see how much you've grown this year anyway enough of this sad stuff before I start to cry um, let's take a look so yesterday was Wednesday today is Thursday um, because it is still April 30th of 2020 um tomorrow is Friday yeah, we can still say that right you're still in my class where's Friday but remember we wouldn't say that if a parent or an adult asked us, right? We'd say it's Friday, but then in secretly in your head, you could say Friday. Anyway, I hope you have the best weekend. I've enjoyed 
Zooming with you today. It was the highlight of my day. And now I hope you were able to go outside and enjoy this sweet sunshine. I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.